Hi everyone, welcome to UK Business World. Our association provides every knowledge that enables you to do business with the British more effectively. Because we know that you might face with many difficulties when dealing with them. As they say, apart from market opportunity, ease of doing business, knowing their environment and culture make a success. Before we get to know their cultures, let's explore why UK. According to statistics in Europe, UK is the first destination for foreign investors. European headquarters of many companies are in UK. Furthermore, it is rich in science innovation. Luxury brands of vehicles are generated here. Aerospace industry here is the second largest in the world. UK's economy is sustainable because of the largest financial center. UK's environment and society are diverse and beneficial to running business. Cambridge, a fourth and UCL in UK are top three universities. So, UK leads the world's technology and development. Now, we already know why UK is the interesting hub to run the business. However, we do not know the today trend, whether people, especially in Bangkok, want to deal business with the British or not. Let's see what we discover. Yes. 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 Reveal, we can see that many people are interested in doing business in UK, but they still worry about how. How they can deal with the British presently to make the business go well. We as a UK Business Association, we give you British business tips. We guarantee that all culture prospects will make you comfortable and more familiar with them more. Now, we are going to present you 6 interesting tips in a brief business meeting. So now, we're gonna start with the first tip. It is for dress code. If you do not care what you're gonna dress to the meeting and you dress like this, what is gonna be in this situation? For the Brits, dress codes are important. People who are in middle to high class are supposed to neatly dress. If your partners are senior, you should wear conservative attire, not too fashionable, because they will feel uncomfortable to talk to you. Normally, they will have a business meeting during lunch or dinner. If you are invited to the meeting, just pick up a formal smart dress. Dark tone suits and necktie are recommended for men. For women, you can wear conservative skirt suits or trouser suits if your partner are white generation. 
it makes you look professional and reliable. For tips, if you are married, do not forget to wear a wedding ring as it will make you look gentle. The British will consider you responsible and warm. For the second point is how to talk. Imagine that while you are in a meeting and you do not recognize that humble man and you are over self and you are over concentrated. The situation Um, do you have any plan for starting your business? Well, if you look at our business model, I guarantee you we will succeed 100%. Our product is the best. No failure indeed. Lots of benefits. So, do you have any plan for starting your business? Possibly, we could promote our products via Facebook and social networks. Due to the fact that almost 70% of our targets are online users, I think we can reach them easily and attract them easily too. So, what do you think? Could you please give me any suggestions? For the British, they do not appreciate over self promotion. You should be reserved and not exaggerate. To convince them of your enthusiasm for the business, you should politely propose a reasonable plan and it must sound humble. It is the fact that Eastern people are obsequious and self -surveyed. However, if you let that kind of personality express during the meeting, the situation is gonna be like this. Ah, forget on the British man facts. So maybe we could add a promotion to our product to attract more customers. Yes, sir. And maybe we could invite our hostiles companies to the grand opening ceremony. Excellent, sir. I think it's a good idea. Mm, best package, sir. Oh, you mentioned So probably we can add a, a new promotion to discount our products and so we can attract more customers. What do you think? It is a good idea, sir, but I think I'm afraid that the customers would consider our products lower quality than the others. Probably, we could gain more reliability from customers. We give them some 10 years uh, membership and 10% discounts every time they buy. It is not necessary to always show that you agree with what they say, such as the words like, yes, okay, good, up to you. If you have another idea, you should politely suggest them. Practical ideas based on their traditions are recommended. The another issue is no one man show. If you do, do not listen to others' opinion, you will regard it not respectful and not harmonious. They might not trust you and you respond like this. Um, I really want to survey the overall market research. I think that to start up the business, uh, it will be good to do this market research around Bangkok to know the trend of our customers. And maybe we could discuss this with the market department of your company. Actually, I can do it myself. I can be responsible for it. No, no need to take a long time, no problem. I really want to survey the overall market research. So I think to start up the business, it would be good for us to do market research over Bangkok so we can know the trend of a customer. So do you think we can discuss about it with your market company department? I agree with you. I will make an appointment with my team to discuss on the other day. Do not be too confident and try to be a specialist. You should consult your team about problems and should not decide only by yourself. The British are not comfortable with arrogant people. So, in the meeting, you should show your teamwork mindset. The fifth tip is, UK is not EU. If you do not understand the online mentality and you defend EU, it might cause some argument and they may feel uncomfortable to talk to you. For the British, you should not compare UK with EU. And the situation is going to be like this.
I think the temperature from Stalin is too high, and maybe EU policy could affect our currency. So I think it's not a good thing to invest money. Really? I don't think it is the EU policy reasons. Their management is good. I think it's because of the factors. Now the currency of the former Stalin is too high, then possibly your policy could affect our currency. So it's kind of difficult for us to invest money. Uh -huh. They do not consider themselves as a part of the European continent. In their perspective, UK, Ireland and Europe are separated. We can say that British holiday makers still speak of going to Europe for a summer vacation. Therefore, when they give their opinion of EU policy, you just stay still and understand them. Last but not least, go UK, not go Dutch. You shouldn't interrupt that statement. If you are Dutchess and try to pay the bill, the meeting might end as a century. Let's look from this situation. That Thai businessman tried to treat the British man, not eat the British pet. Bill, please. Oh, you will be on me. No, thank you. Oh, that's please. You can share. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the meeting. I will send a plan to you. If you are going to pay the bill, you should say so from the beginning and leave a 10% tip. The British do not enjoy talking about money and the bill. It is automatically known that the host will be responsible for paying the bill. You also should respect that hospitality. With our experiences of knowing and researching British culture, we assure you that following these six tips, Dress code, conversation style, do not be mitter yet sir, no one man show, respect their online mentality, and recognize their hospitality. You can greatly impress your British partners, we will guarantee that you will overcome cultural difficulties. As they say, the one who knows the enemy and know himself will not be in danger in hundred battles.